In this problem, we have counted the number of species observed at four different sites, S1, S2, S3, S4, on each of two years, 2012 and 2013. We would like to be able to test for the significance of any differences between the sites or between the years, and specifically if there is a difference between the interaction of the year and site, which might tell us whether different management processes at different sites may have affected the number of species. More importantly, we're concerned about the normality and equality of variance of this data in respect of the ANOVA, so we will investigate the effect of transforming the species into a square root and logarithmic form. We will start off by performing an ANOVA on the species variable directly, and for this, species is the dependent variable, year and site are fixed variables. We will want to analyze residuals, so we will click Save, and we will choose to save standardized residuals. We also wish to test for equality of variance, so we will click Options and click Homogeneity Tests and run OK. Directly, we have Levine's test for the equality of variances, which gives P of 0 0.888, which suggests that we can accept that the variances are equal between the different experimental conditions. If we look at the results of the ANOVA for the different years, the p-value is 0 0.057 suggesting that there is not a significant difference between the years. The different sites do show a significance with P is 0 0.004, but the interaction between the year and the site, 0.312, is not significant. However, our main interest here is not in these results, but by investigating the effect of transforming the variable species. If we now look back at the data file, we can see that we have saved the residuals, ZRE1, and we can analyze these residuals by using descriptive statistics explore and putting standardized residuals into the dependent list. We will also choose to see the normality plots and run. These results give us the skewness and kurtosis of the residuals, and we can see that these that the skewness is more than two times the standard error, so this is significant, and the same is true of kurtosis. And we can see that the tests for normality, both Kolmogorov, Smirnov, and Shapiro Wilkes, show p values less than 0.05 showing significant deviations from normality. The normality plot also shows this distinct curvature, showing significant kurtosis and skewness. The next step now is to transform the data. We will now take the square root of the species by going Transform, Compute Variable, and the new variable we will call square root species and we will calculate it as the square root of the species which we will see here and now we can perform the same ANOVA analysis using the square root of the species again Levine's test gives us a non-significant p-value, suggesting equality of variance. We can now analyze the new residuals For these residuals, the value of skewness is still more than twice the standard error, suggesting there is significant skewness, but the kurtosis now has been reduced. But the test for normality both show significant deviations from normality 
and indeed the plots of the residuals for the square root are actually closer to the expected normal distribution line but there is still some positive skewness. Returning to the data we can now transform the species by taking the logarithm So our new variable log of species will be the logarithm of the original values. And now we will perform the same ANOVAR analysis on these values. So we will now choose the log of species. Levine's test still is confident that there is equality of variance and looking back at the data we can analyze the new residuals ZRE3 using explore so we have to choose the latest standardized residuals click OK and in this case the skewness has been further reduced to less than one standard error, the kurtosis is less than one standard error, and the Shapiro-Wilkes uh, significance now is p-value of 0.241, showing that the data is not significantly different from a normal distribution. And if we look at the normality plot, we can see that there is no significant deviation for skewness at either end and there is no overall curvature for kurtosis. This is suggesting that a transformation of the logarithm of species does in fact produce a data set which satisfies the conditions of normality and equality of variance.